Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Ah, uh, you know, I love watching planes take off. You know, as you can imagine, I spend a lot of time on airplanes and at airports like the one you see behind me, Love Field in Dallas. This form of transportation is essential to producing our show where we address environmental issues being addressed all over the planet. And one of those issues, aviation fuel, which right now game-changing technology is helping it all the more become sustainable, as you're about to see. Air travel produces 2% of the nation's CO2 greenhouse gas emissions, but today biomass is being tested as a renewable alternative for the aviation industry. That could really help lower greenhouse gas emissions on a global scale, but challenges exist in making enough of it at a reasonable cost. So a hot new acronym is taking off these days called SAF, or SAF. That stands for Sustainable Aviation Fuel. It's a fuel produced from non-fossil fuel sources that can be lower greenhouse gas emissions, much lower than conventional jet fuel. Well, today's uh, industry uses about 21 billion gallons of fuel, and it is the third largest source of greenhouse gas emissions coming from the transportation sector. It is going to take what we're calling a sustainable aviation fuels grand challenge to really meet the needs of the industry in time to reduce CO2 emissions. For example, we set our first target as 3 billion gallons by 2030. Our ultimate goal is to meet 100% of the U.S. demand for aviation fuel in 2050. Now, one collaborative way the aviation industry is responding to this challenge alongside several government partners is happening here at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains in Golden, Colorado, at the National Renewable Energy Lab, otherwise known as NREL. As a government-owned, contractor-operated facility overseen by the Department of Energy, NREL has partnered together with D3 Max, Southwest Airlines, and other entities on a project called SAFIRE, Sustainable Aviation Fuel from Renewable Ethanol. Sustainable aviation fuel period is a big deal. I mean, that, that's the answer for the industry and the answer for Southwest. SAFIRE is a very promising technology that takes basically leftover corn refuse, turns it into ethanol that can then be upgraded to jet fuel, and we're very excited about it. Here is where they are developing and producing scalable SAF from Corn Stover, the agricultural residue left over from the harvest of corn. So the U.S. produces about 400 million tons of corn stover per year, and about half of that could be available for energy use. The end goal is to completely replace conventional fuels, uh, petroleum-based fuels, with alternative or renewable fuels. Tom Nealon is especially excited about the potential of this new fuel technology. He's CEO of Sapphire Renewables and is a strategic advisor of Southwest Airlines. In our industry here in the U.S., 99.6% of our emissions are driven by one thing. It's the burning of jet fuel. But it's the only alternative we have. Right? So, so that's what we burn. That's why this work is so important. Our objective, our role, our desire uh, is to replace Jet-A with SAF. And we think that Sapphire is, is really positioned to play a very extraordinary outsized role. I think we can do this. I'm actually really passionate about this. It's invigorating, we're learning every day. And if we get this done properly, this really could change aviation. So right now, Sapphire is a pilot project, but a recent 50% investment match from Southwest Airlines headquartered here in Dallas, Texas, is helping move this new technology a lot closer to reality. Well, we're obviously a, a large airline, largest domestic airline in the United States, and so the, uh, reducing emissions is very important to us. We're counting on sustainable aviation fuel, and it's going to take a lot of investment to get there. The Sapphire 
technology is very exciting and the ability to scale that we think uh, will produce a lot of SAF that could help us hit our goals. There's a lot of investment it's going to take to scale the, uh, the Sapphire technology, but we think we can get there. Sustainable aviation fuel is critical to decarbonizing aviation, but the amount produced in 2021 met only one-tenth of one percent of global jet fuel demand. And today, SAF is significantly more expensive than conventional jet fuel. Scaling up production requires government and private sector collaboration. Our ultimate goal is to be net zero by 2050, and we're going to need significant volumes of SAF to achieve that. And so our goal is for Sapphire to help create commercial volumes of affordable, lower carbon SAF on a life cycle basis. Well, our hope is that uh, Sapphire could help not only Southwest achieve its sustainability goals, but also the rest of the aviation industry. The more SAF that we can use, the less we have to rely on out of sector measures like carbon offsets. If Sapphire's technology is commercialized, Corn Stover could become the largest cellulosic biomass feedstock in the U.S., with around 200 million tons available for SAF production each year. That could produce over 10 billion gallons of sustainable aviation fuel. Sapphire has been made possible by scientific breakthroughs that are constantly happening here in the labs of NREL, thanks to major investments coming from partners, including the government and private sector. And thanks to high-flying collaboration with Southwest Airlines, it's reducing the environmental impact of air travel today by shifting the aviation market away from oil. And that's game-changing technology for the future of our planet. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.